narrowboat life as a part-time boater, where I spend part of my time on the land and part of my time on the water with my partner Peter. I'm currently land-based, but recently we went up to Stockton to visit the boat and meet with the sign writer. And that's what this video is all about. So, let's get into it. We saw the boat for the first time with new coats of paint on it. It's nice and shiny, which is what we wanted, and it looks brand new. The windows have been taken out, as you can see, and here is the new paint colour. Mike uses gloss undercoat, and that's what this is, so the colour will be slightly different when it's finished. This is John and he is going to be doing the sign writing and artwork on the name panels on either side of the boat. All his artwork is hand painted, so really the sky's the limit when we're talking about artwork and sign writing. We have given John some ideas of our own. We're now waiting for John to get back to us with some ideas of his own for us to consider. We are also wanting some artwork on the back doors. In the past it's just been plain green as it is now, but we'd like to liven it up a bit and put some imagination into it. So more about that in future videos. Do you have any ideas as to what you would put on the back of a boat? Let us know in the comments below. I'd really like to see what ideas you would come up with. As the men discuss the colours that were going on the back of the boat, it's plain to see that there's one colour that we have chosen that is going to be a headache for Mike. I don't think he's looking forward to painting that one. This is probably one of the few times that you will see the boat without the cratch or cover. The floor has been painted with this sort of burnt red colour. I think that's still the undercoat. The boat will be painted black from the gunnels down into the water. If it's all black then it's going to be easier to touch it up as we go along and keep the boat looking smart. The surface on top of the gunnel is going to be non-slip and that's so that none of us fall off, including Flan who likes to walk along the gunnel. These are the colours that we have to choose from. Which colour would you choose? Do you have any questions that you would like to ask about the boat painting, or the boat in general, or the canals? If you do, please leave a comment below and we would love to read them and answer them. I hope you've enjoyed this video and if you have, please consider subscribing, liking and sharing. Please leave a comment below on anything that you have found interesting or anything that you think we ought to be mentioning any questions about the boat painting do let us know we would love to hear from you so until our next video until next week 